Hi everyone, welcome to my home here in Northern California. My name is Mindy Hilton and I'm very excited because it is dessert week at The Real Woman of Philadelphia. And that means we're using Philadelphia cream cheese to whip up some of our favorite treats. And you know what? I have a bit of a sweet tooth. I've been known to head straight to the dessert menu at a restaurant to see how much room I need to save for dessert. So I'm admitting it and you know what? I'm indulging that sweet tooth today and I'm gonna make a dessert that has some of my favorite things in it. It's gonna have Philadelphia cream cheese, chocolate, caramel, and coffee. You know what? We're making a gooey chewy chocolate mocha caramel crumb cake. It's gonna be out of this world. It's gonna have so many different textures. It's gonna have all of my favorite flavors. I can't wait to share get this started on this easy dessert. All we need is a cake mix, and I'm using a milk chocolate cake mix, and that's gonna go in our mixing bowl, along with one egg. And now I use cholesterol-free egg product because if I have to choose, I'm gonna choose my bacon over my eggs. <laughs> That's just me. And since high cholesterol runs in the family, not that you need to know that, I use a cholesterol-free egg product. So you're either gonna use a quarter cup of that or one real egg into the bowl. And then a stick of butter. And I'm using unsalted butter and I let that get to room temperature and it must be a little hot in here because it's actually and starting to get this mixed up and it's gonna form almost like a crumbly cookie. Now you could either do this with your fork or you could just pulse your mixer like I'm going to to get this all nice and crumbly. Once you have your cake crumbs you're just going to reserve one cup of crumbs and we're going to be using those later. Then you're just going to take the rest of the crumbs and press them into the bottom of your baking dish. And now I'm using a 13 by 9 inch glass baking dish and I've lined mine with parchment paper because most of these are gonna be going to my son's school tomorrow for the secretaries because otherwise, if they stay here, I'll eat the whole thing. And that's not good, it's good to share, right? So you know what? I've used the parchment paper because it makes it really easy when we're done to just lift the dessert out and slice pretty servings. But you could just as easily leave it in the baking dish and just grease your baking dish or use a nonstick spray. So now this is gonna get partially baked in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes into the center of the oven with you, sweet now, thing. While our crumbs are baking, we're gonna make our cream cheese layer that's gonna be in this dessert because it has all these different layers. And without hopefully spilling any more egg, I'm gonna put one egg into my mixing bowl along with one third of a cup of white sugar, one tablespoon of instant coffee, and you can use decaf or regular, and then our container or our package of Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'm using the one third less fat, but you could use whatever you know type you like. If you wanna use the orig original or the, if you wanna use the fat free, you could do that too. And the whole package is gonna go in there and then we're just gonna mix it up until it's nice and smooth and creamy. And it's gonna be our sweet, creamy coffee layer. And if you have someone that doesn't like coffee, you could always leave the coffee out and just use some vanilla extract, maybe like a half a teaspoon would work just great. Creamy. Perfect. Well, I was waiting for those partially baked crumbs to finish baking. You know, I was just kind of thinking about my life, how crazy it's been. Because you know what? I have a completely domesticated life and I love it. And it's so funny, growing up, if you'd asked me if I was gonna have kids, if I was gonna get married, I probably would have told you no. And then somehow I found myself in this spot of being a stay-at-home mom, and I never knew how much I was gonna love it. And you know what? It happened right around the time that I joined ROP last year. And I tell you, this last year has been so much fun, and I've just fallen in love with this crazy new domesticated mama. I just thought I'd share that with you. But, but you know what? We're ready to get this dessert finished because I'm ready to start tasting. And you know what? We're gonna take our partially baked crumbs, we are gonna to top it with, ooh, let me grab our caramel sauce. And I'm just using a store-bought caramel sauce and I've got three-fourths of a cup and I'm just gonna pour it over that chocolatey goodness. Are you starting to see where I'm going here? This is gonna have so many layers of goodness. It should almost be illegal, I'm telling you. You're gonna make this and it's gonna be one of those things that you can't stop thinking about, that it's, 
It's going to linger in your mind. It's so good. And you're going to dream about having it again and again and again. So there we go. At least if you like chocolate caramel and a little coffee and cream cheese. Mm. My goodness. There we go. That was easy. Now I'm just going to take that mixture of the cream cheese and the coffee and the sugar. And that is going to go on top of that caramel topping. And I already tasted that, and it's good. There we go. And now I'm just going to spread that out. And I love the colors of this, too, because it's got chocolate, the dark chocolate color on the bottom, and then it gets a little bit lighter with the caramel, and then even lighter with this coffee layer. It's going to be beautiful. And now for our fourth layer, our crumbs that we reserved. And we're just going to break those up and drop them on top. And then this is going to be going back into our oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 more minutes. And then it's going to be done. While that is baking, it's time to make a serious, serious decision here. Yes, you're going to have to decide if you want to have that dessert hot or if you want to have it cold. <laughs> Big decisions. If it's hot, it's gonna be more like a cobbler and it's gonna be warm and really gooey and oh, it's gonna be so good. And this is a, a hard decision because when it's cold, it's still really good. It, it's really chewy. It's like the perfect chewy cookie. So you're gonna have to make some decisions. Either way, I love it because it's one of those desserts that I can serve warm and if you wanted to top it with some ice cream, you could, perfect. Or you can send it off to, with your kids like I'm gonna do in the morning to school and know that it can sit at room temperature and still be good. It doesn't have to be hot. So it's a great dessert to use when you're entertaining. It's done. It's gooey, chewy, mocha, chocolate, caramel, crumb cake. And you know what? It is so good. Oh my goodness. This is something that I would wake up early before the kids are up just to have a quiet moment with me and this dessert. It is that good. I hope you give it a try because I know it's gonna be something that is always gonna be a favorite from this point on. And you know what? I'm gonna dig into this because the, it's got the crumbly top and the gooey middle. That, that might be one of the best things I've ever ate. You know what? It's been a sweet week. Until next time. Bye.